This is how to derive the Hamiltonian function and a fundamental definition for energy using Newton's laws. If we start with the familiar Newton's second law equation f equals ma, then writing acceleration as the derivative of velocity with respect to time, and substituting in momentum for mass and velocity, we see that Newton's second law can be rewritten as force equals the derivative of momentum with respect to time. Now if we just park this equation for the moment, let's consider a force acting on an object which is a function of position only. This is called a conservative force. A force of this type can be obtained by taking the negative of the derivative of the potential energy of the object with respect to its position. I think this is best illustrated using the familiar example of a mass on a spring or an object falling from a height. If we extend the spring by a distant x, then its potential energy is equal to half times the spring constant times its extension squared. And the force on that mass is equal to the negative of the derivative of that potential energy with respect to position, which equals negative kx. The force acts in the opposite direction to the direction of extension or compression. Using the conventional u as the symbol for potential energy, we write that f equals minus du over dx for a conservative force. Now if we take the equation for Newton's second law and we subtract our new equation for force, we get that dp over dt plus du over dx is equal to zero. At this point, we have to have the clever idea of multiplying the equation by velocity and then recalling the two velocity equations velocity is momentum over mass and that velocity is the derivative of position with respect to time. We can then get, by replacing the velocity terms, the following equation. Now we have to use a bit of calculus trickery. We write the first term as the derivative of the integral of p over m with respect to p these two operations cancel each other out, times by dp over dt. And using the chain rule on the second term, we get du over dt, all equal to zero. Then we use the chain rule on the first term, and then integrate p over m to p squared over 2m. With this equation, we can see that both terms are derivatives with respect to time. So we can write that the derivative with respect to time of p squared over 2m plus u is equal to zero. And what we have is a derivative of a two-variable function of position and momentum. This function is called the Hamiltonian, and it is a profound and useful equation in physics. And finally, since the rate of change of this function is zero, the Hamiltonian is equal to some constant of integration, and it is this constant of integration that we call energy. If we substitute in mass times velocity for momentum, we find the familiar equation for the total energy in the system.